No slates for today. Abracadabra. A beer motor. A beer wheel. Another motor. A piece of metal. A motor driver. A light dependent resistor. Wah! An Arduino. These are the heroes. I have just connected my bio wheel to my motor. Now, this is just a piece of metal. I have added a plastic to it so that I can attach this to my shaft and it will act like an extension to the shaft. So now it will rotate like this and now I will place it on top of it and I'll show you how it works. Yeah, here we go. I have placed these motors on top of a box so that I'll get sufficient height as well as a place to hold these motors and I have added some weight to it for more stability um, I know it's very messy because of these tapes but I'll do something for that don't worry and I had to replace the striker because it was too heavy now I have replaced it with a lighter one so now it's time to wire up things let's start it here we have the motor driver these two ports are for powering the motor driver these two ports are for driving the motors and these four pins over here is for changing the direction of the motors but i will only be using two of them because i don't necessarily have to change the directions in my in this project so i'll only be using two of them so let's connect it so i'll be taking a 5 volt supply from the battery and the motor driver and i'll be connecting it to my voltage input pin of the arduino I'll also have to connect two wires to maybe to input one and input three of the motor driver so that my motors will rotate in any one of the directions. Maybe I'll have to change it if it is not in my favor. So I'll be connecting it to pin 13 and another one to pin 12. I'll also have to connect the light dependent resistor to my analog input A0 and a 5 volt for that sensor. So I'll explain it. Now we have to connect these two motors to the motor driver. I can easily do it for this bottom motor. There is no problem for connecting it to the motor driver. But when it comes to the top motor, if I'm going to take the wires from the bottom to the top, then the bottom motor spins, the wires will get tangled and that was a problem. So then I thought it in another way. Then I found that when the striker rotates, it will hit these wires and it will mess up everything. So then I figured out that if I'm going to give the connections from the top, even if the motor spins in a circular manner, there is no problem, it will not get tangled. So for doing that, I took a piece of aluminium metal and bend it like this and it will act as a support for these wires. I have placed my Arduino here, a battery here and a motor driver here so that my striker won't hit them. It's time to program. But what to say, nothing worked as I thought, everything went wrong. Even my idea of getting the wires through the top was also dumb. So for solving that problem, what I did was, if I'm going to rotate this motor in one direction, and in the next turn, if it rotates in the opposite direction, it will not get tangled. cha -da! And that's one of the reasons I have more wires now. I had to even change my idea of putting a single battery with a 9 volt adapter. Another problem was the speed of the bottom motor was too high. Now I have decreased the speed of the motor using PWM. Done it. And do you remember what I said in the beginning of the video? It looks messy, isn't it? Now it looks more than that. Ha ha ha! I had to change everything as you can see now I have more wires. 
The working of this is pretty simple. At first, when the lights are off, this bottom motor will spin in this direction, and after some time, it will go in the opposite direction. And if I'm allowing the light to fall on this light dependent resistor, this bottom motor will stop and this will start. It is all controlled by this light dependent resistor. So let me turn off the lights and turn on the power. Here we go. So this is the case when the lights are off. So if I allow a light to fall on this LDR, the bottom motor stops and this motor starts. So if I remove it, you see it continues. This is how it really works. I'm going to finish him. Okay. Move it. It really hit my board. I'm going to fit this carom into this hole using this. going to lie. It will hit this carom in the correct direction only if the carom is placed directly under this striker otherwise the carom will move in this direction or this direction. And that's not a big problem. Don't try this at home. It's very dangerous. I'm not joking or you will look like this. So hit the subscribe button now or you will end up looking like this. This thing is very useful when you want to take your teeth out.